Welcome back, guys. We are back with another band-made reaction. So if you haven't been watching already, we are going down every band-made album from first song to last song. Then we're going to go to the next album, first song, last song. So we've just finished the first album, Made in Japan. We're now moving on to their next album, New Beginning. And from what I understand, this song in particular was kind of like the turning point for the band because if this song had not had the success that it had then they probably wouldn't have continued to make music and still be a band so so yeah the album new beginning came in 2015 it was late 2015 so it was just under two years between albums this uh song we've already reacted to so I'm going to react to the live version just to keep the continuity of keeping all the songs in order. So basically, when I do react to a bandmade song, then I can now listen to that song in my free time. Try really hard to not listen to songs that I have not reacted to so that when I do react to it, it'll be a genuine reaction. And so with this song, I've already listened to it and I probably listened to this song a lot. <laughs> I have uh, a small bandmade playlist that I add songs to after I've reacted to them. And I'll I jam out to that song most nights in some way or another. So yeah, let's check this one out. This is Bandmade Thrill, the song that uh, changed it all for them. So let's, we're going to check out this live version since we've already checked out the original music video. Yeah, right off the bat, you can see them <laughs> quite different sound. I mean, I listen to the song a lot, so I know what it sounds like, but to hear it in the context of having had just listened to their first album kind of provides a whole new perspective on this song, to be honest. So compared to what we were listening to, which was like pop punk, early 2000s, you know, Avril Lavigne, Green Day, and all these Blink-182, Offspring, all these other bands that, I would say would represent their first album. I'm not hearing any of that here, which, you know, is a bit of a risk for them to change their sound. But right now what I'm hearing is like, I don't know, like uh, maybe like some uh, Pantera. <laughs> it's like reaching back into the past a little bit with this sound, you know, bringing up some of those like old 70s and 80s metal sounds. So... Yeah, I can kind of see why this was a big turning point for them.
I don't know. I'm hearing like just for like a couple little riffs in there. I heard a little bit of freaking ACDC. <laughs> freaking Angus and Malcolm. But it just I can't think of a, a particular band, I would say. Well, many different bands, but just kind of that like 80s rock hair metal sound. I like it, though. I like it a lot. A lot of shredding going on. Solo time. Yeah, that's something you probably wouldn't find in their first album too much is a bass solo. I think there might have been a couple guitar solos in that first album, but not like this. They were kind of like this. These types of solos, it's like everyone else gets quiet and all the focus is on them. Sometimes the solos are just kind of baked into the music a little bit. But these are nice and uh, kind of standalone, which is cool. Like... Spotlight goes to the bass, she does her thing, then it goes to uh, Konami, and yeah, that was awesome. Definitely uh, that 80s kind of rock sound for sure. Sorry, I thought I heard something. I think it was just some thunder outside, but... I think the fact that I've listened to this song so many times, I've, like, I feel like I can really analyze it a little better because when a lot of times when I'm hearing a song for the first time, I can't... like it, I feel like it takes, for me, at least a few listens to really kind of fully process. Yeah, this is a great song. I mean... It completely shows that they're capable of like playing anything almost. I mean, you know, like their first album was still like had some rock in it for sure. It was a little more punk pop, but it still had elements of rock in it. But this is like pure rock and roll, really kind of paying homage to that sound. It's really just making me think of 80s. <laughs> Not that I was around then, but what I think of when I think of 80s rock. This song kind of embodies that, I would say. But yeah, this was cool. Very familiar with this song already, so this wasn't, you know, a first-time reaction, but more of an analysis, a review. So yeah, we're going down the whole list. That was a Thrill. Next song we're going to listen to is going to be Freezer, and this is from their New Beginning album. This is album number two, song number one. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and yeah, stay tuned for the next song. We're going to try to put out one per day. It's kind of a tall order, recording, editing, thumbnail. We, we try to put a lot of work into the subtitles as well because we have a pretty big foreign audience. So put in an hour or two per video, I would say. But anyway, this was Bandmade Thrill. So thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you next time. Later.